couple years. We're, yeah, we're not going to make it to the end. The planet does just fine. I like thinking about the planets and the stars. We just had that big uh, eclipse. Did everybody enjoy that? Did anybody accidentally book a vacation out of town and miss it? <laughs> that would suck. That would suck. Anyways. What a trip that is. I was, I was watching a lunar eclipse once, and I was just out, out on the deck having a, having a beverage and watching a, one of those blood moon eclipses and thinking, man, we, like, we know exactly what this is. They can predict that thing to the exact second it's going to happen, like, a hundred years out, right, or more. But uh, what do they do in olden times? I mean, they really just freaked out. So I wrote a song about that. Because why not? In the beginning, they had not a clue. The earth was as flat as the water was blue. And the stars, they were affixed to a dome. And the sun was a warrior's chariot of fire on the run. And then someone noticed the North Star would rise in the sky as you sail towards the pole. And that's all you require to make a flat earth retire. Astronomy was on a roll. You see Copernicus get an idea that could rock the whole world. He said, perhaps it might be, it's not you and not me, but the sun around which we all work. And the clerics cried no, until Galileo got his hands on his first telescope. He found Jupiter's moons floating round like balloons at the end of gravity's rope. He had explained it to do to the Pope. That's alright, they worked it out. But then Hubble, he got this telescope and he cannot believe how far that old telescope of Hubble's could see. He found sweet Andromeda so far away. He knew we were nestled in this little Milky Way. And now we've got telescopes orbiting us. They're looking at the beginning of time. As galaxies coalesce from this great big bang mess, giving birth to a new paradigm. But I'm watching this lunar eclipse through these clouds, and I can see why in Bible times people would freak out. As this moon and then vanished discreetly and then turned red again and emerged quite completely. What the hell? It could all be a heavenly battle where the blood flows maroon. Or perhaps it is only the shadow of the earth falling over the moon. Yeah, don't kill each other over it. It's just the earth falling over the moon.